What is up, guys? It's your boy Hercules, and we are back at it again. So, the Flash film has, I believe it, it releases this weekend. And I gotta be very honest. When I first remember hearing the Flash film, I was excited. When I heard that they were gonna take the, the concept art of uh, the Flashpoint, I was excited. And then we started hearing of what they were thinking of doing. And then we were like, wait, 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 why are you doing that? Because to me, you have Jeffrey Dean Morgan, the opportunity of having him play Thomas Wayne as Batman and you piss that away. I love me Ben Affleck. I think Michael Keaton is a decent Batman. I'm sorry if you get butt hurt by me saying that. I think he's better than a lot of these other Batmans, except for Ben Affleck and Christian Bale. But when you decided to take a very beloved Batman and another very beloved Batman and remove a potential of having this iconic Batman slash Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne as the Joker, you lose me. You lose me. And then you try to squeeze in because rumors say there's a lot of cameos in there. And I've seen some trailer. I see some, I guess, some clips of uh, the CGI cameos. I got to be very honest. They don't look good. They don't look good, man. They don't look good. This film did not cost $250 million. This film cost well above that. Probably $400 million. But we'll see, man. We'll see. Uh, but there is one thing in this film that I noticed that why it looks bad. Am I going to go watch this film? I don't know. I truly don't know. Um. I think the only reason why I would even go and watch this is because of Batman and because of General Zod. Now, I don't know how long he's going to be in that, um, but I really love General Zod. Zack Snyder's General Zod is badass. I think Ben Affleck's Batman is badass. The universe Zack Snyder created was fucking phenomenal and i know there's a lot of haters out there and that's fine everybody has a different opinion that's fine i think the christopher reeves superman was a big old piece of trash uh every time i try to watch it i'm bored i fall asleep and, but every time i watch man of steel or bvs i'm hooked like that is the style that i want but again everybody has a different opinion and that's fine but something about this film looks like it hasn't been finished yet. And that is the CGI. What is wrong with this freaking CGI? Like the flash CGI is freaking embarrassing, man. Like what the heck? The spoiler, when they revealed the spoiler of uh, hashtag spoiler, George Clooney returning. I don't know if you guys know, but it looks like George Clooney is returning in the flash as Batman. I don't know if he's gonna be the one staying as James Gunn's Batman, or this is just like a one-off kind of cameo and James Gunn's gonna reboot everything. I still don't believe James Gunn is gonna reboot everything, but maybe I'm wrong. <sighs> I think George Clooney could be a good Batman, but he keeps playing Bruce Wayne slash Batman as George Clooney when he should be playing it as Bruce Wayne slash Batman. You have to separate yourself from the character. There's a lot of actors that know how to do that. They know how to, okay, this is how I am in real life. Let me separate myself from that and make sure this character is not anywhere near who I am. George Clooney can't seem to do that. I saw the clip. And I was like, what the heck, dude? Like, I feel like you were given this opportunity and maybe the director wanted this, wanted him to still act like the same George Clooney from his film, his Batman film. But to me, do I think he, I think he looks good. I think George Clooney looks good. He's a woke, crazy leftist, but I think he looks good. And this is an opportunity where you can take George Clooney 
allow him to be this darker side of a Batman. Not you don't have to have him killing people or anything like that, but just a, like a darker, more beat down uh, Batman. Have him play something like that. But it looks like he's just going to be playing himself again, which makes no fucking sense at all, which makes the cameo suck. And then you start wondering, well, is this going to be Batman that uh, James Gunn is going to be using? Because we we've heard that this Batman has multiple Robins and he's going to be an older Batman. So, I mean, this kind of fits into that narrative if you really think about it. But yeah, man, uh, again, I think this cameo doesn't work. I think you should have brought back. If you would have brought Bell, if you would have brought Bell back, people would have fucking lose their minds. They would have been like, holy shit, Christian Bell is back. And he doesn't have to play the same Batman. It could be like a new a uh, new Batman that he's playing, just the older version. If we would have seen Christian Bell back as Bruce Wayne slash Batman, dude, this film would, I, I would say this film would make its money back. With Christian Bell as Batman, you would have, if you dropped that, or if people started seeing that, people would be like, holy shit, I'm down, I'm going. And then James Gunn, guess what? If you would have Christian Bell as your Batman, Ooh, you got a lot of people excited. Even though we love Ben Affleck, I still think Christian Bell is my number one Batman. Not count, not counting Kevin Connery because Kevin Connery is a great uh, cartoon voice and video game. But, but I digress. Uh, do I trust James Gunn when he finally decides to do a DC reboot? DC reboot. Do I think he's gonna go full in and do like a wipe the whole the whole DC universe? No, I don't believe him. I think he's gonna keep some stuff. He's gonna keep mainly his stuff. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.